Hello everybody and welcome back to Dollar Tree Dinners. My name is Rebecca and today we're not doing any cooking. We're just gonna have some coffee together. I'm gonna talk about some changes and some updates and just kind of get to know you guys a little bit better. I've had a few people intuitively mention that it seems like I haven't quite been myself lately and I can kind of agree with that. It is hard when you're trying to convey emotion on camera. Sometimes I I'm editing a video and I'm like, oh, I look sad or I sound sad, but I'm not. So I do want to mention that, but I do agree with some of you all that I haven't really quite been 100% these past couple of months. Some of you are new to my channel and some of you have been here since the very beginning and I'm grateful for each and every one of you. But for those of you who have been here since the beginning, you've probably seen a pretty drastic shift in my content lately. Namely, that if you look back at like the last, I don't know, three to six months of uploads, I haven't done many Dollar Tree meals. And I thought I would kind of give you some insight into why. And it's not really any particular reason, like I'm not boycotting Dollar Tree or anything like that. It's just that I kind of backed myself into a corner and I've been trying to kind of figure my way out of that corner. And that corner is not Dollar Tree. The corner is themed videos. So for example, I did like a series of Dollar Tree holiday desserts. I did a series of Dollar Tree skillet meals. It was always, you know, four to five recipes per video that fit within a particular theme. And that has been a difficult momentum for me to keep going. I have continued to cook and share Dollar Tree recipes across my other platforms, which you guys know I am on TikTok, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, and I am on YouTube but I've been mostly doing just single videos, vertical, short format, Dollar Tree recipes on those other platforms, and I want to share them on here as well. So I do wanna get back into making Dollar Tree videos, but it may not be in that kind of context where I share four to five different recipes all within a theme. Maybe I just share four random recipes, maybe I do a full day of recipes, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm not sure yet, but I really wanna get back into sharing those videos. They just, it got hard for me to continue to come up with four different ideas that fit within a certain theme and can all be made at Dollar Tree simultaneously. I love cooking from Dollar Tree. It is one of my favorite things. Obviously it is the name of my channel and it is why I started this channel to begin with. I don't want to disappoint you guys either. I know a lot of my subscribers are here because of the Dollar Tree meals, not because of the retro recipes, not because of cheap eats around the world, and not because of cooking for community. Although I do love all of those series and I do want to keep those series going as well. I don't want to say I've run out of ideas because I never run out of ideas. The hardest part is that I always have more ideas than I have time. Sometimes I have more ideas and whenever I go to Dollar Tree to buy that specific ingredient, I no longer can. That's the revolving nature of the inventory. I have not run out of ideas. I have a lot of them. I just cannot always make those ideas fit within a particular theme. And that's been the challenge for me. And I think it's been really kind of discouraging for me recently to try to navigate that mentally all the time. So I do have a lot of ongoing series and I want to continue with all of those. I love the Cheap Eats Around the World series. It's probably one of my favorites. I love the retro recipes, the Great Depression recipes, the World War II, and I love my Cooking for Community series. Although I do have to let you guys know that the senior that I was cooking for is hospitalized once again. So she was hospitalized for quite a while. She got out, I cooked for her twice. Um, I've only posted one video though. The other video I still need to edit. I was gonna try to post that today, but I need to refilm the intro and stuff and kind of clarify some things a little bit better with her new dietary restrictions. But so I filmed that last Friday and I delivered the meals on Saturday. And then by Monday, she was already back in the hospital. So she actually didn't get the chance to try a lot of the meals that I made for her. She tried some of them, but not all of them. And the caregiver froze most of them for when she does get back. But then there's also the I Promised Another $100 series. And I've had a few people ask about that. I know you guys don't always tune into every single video that I make. I assure you that I do want to do another one. I'm trying to kind of just navigate these kind of changes and figure out a direction. I have not been very consistent with a filming schedule. I have not been very consistent with an uploading schedule. And 
uh, those also kind of weigh on me because again, I don't want to disappoint you guys and I don't want to disappoint myself. So I've been trying to be more consistent and consistency for me is kind of hard. One more update that I think I want to talk about now is that in the next four to six months or so, we are trying to move and we are trying to move to Washington State. So Virginia to Washington, because Michael's family is in Washington and we're trying to be closer to his family. My family is in North Carolina, but I'm not that close with my family. So we would rather be closer to his family. And I love Washington. I went there, I don't know, I went there to visit like four or five years ago for the first time. This was before Michael and I met. And I just kind of knew that it was where I wanted to end up one day. So hopefully we can move in the next four to six months, but that is going to be a very expensive project and a big project because we're trying to move as little of our belongings as possible. So everything that I currently have, we're gonna either try to donate or sell in some capacity so that we're moving as little of our things as possible. Basically just getting down to bare necessities. Say hi to Loki. Hey buddy, you trying to say hi? <laughs> you always see his ears peeking out in the backs of my videos. He loves to kind of just meander around the kitchen and I oftentimes don't even notice him until I go to edit the video and I see his little ears peeking out from my counter. But he is my sweet boy and I love him so much. The other dog that you see sometimes sitting here is River. And I've had a lot of questions about why she just kind of sits here and like stares at what appears to be the wall. But you see that little white tank right there. That is her food bowl. And it used to be an automatic feeder, but it doesn't really work anymore. So we manually feed them now. And she just kind of sits there and stares at it, I think, with hopes that it'll just go off one day. She's very, very food motivated. So yeah, planning to move in the next four to six months or so. Hoping to take you guys along that journey with me. Talk about how much it's going to cost kind of go through the process of decluttering. I wanna to start to integrate some less formal vlog style content into my channel as well. And I do not wanna start a second channel. I have had some suggestions to do that, but I already manage this channel. I manage TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. I don't wanna add on to that, so I do not want to start a second YouTube channel. I'm 100% fine with this channel being dynamic and changing between vlog content and formal content and the various different series that I have, as long as it kind of fits into something, <laughs> as long as it kind of fits into what I do. And I love trying new things. I love trying the viral recipes. I just, I have so many, as I mentioned, I always have more ideas than I have time. And it's just trying to figure out what's the best timing to get some of those ideas out and filming them in a way that makes the most sense and trying to make them budget friendly. There is so many thoughts that go into a single video and so much planning that goes into a single video. All of this jibber jabber and I'm trying to figure out where to go with this, but I think that the ultimate consensus is that I want to do shorter, more frequent videos rather than like one 20 to 40 minute long video twice a week, once a week. I would like to do, you know, maybe just 10 minute videos where I cook a single recipe, we talk about it, you know, I try it. I'm trying not to babble too much, I assure you, but I did wanna just pop on here. I wanted to explain, you know, where I've been and why, why you haven't seen as much Dollar Tree content on this channel. Um, I mean, there was the $100 series, there is the Cooking for Community series, and I'm trying to like, I'm just trying to make sure that I have a good balance of things here. The $100 series was a lot of fun for me, but as you can imagine, those kinds of things are quite taxing because it is filming multiple times a day. It is trying to find time to edit. It is every day going to the grocery store. I, I, I do have another $100 series. I don't know when it's gonna be, I apologize. What I need to do right now is kind of focus on being more consistent and having a schedule. I wanna make sure that you guys get the videos that you came here for, whether that's the budget videos, whether that's the retro videos, the cooking for community, the Dollar Tree series. I wanna make sure that you are getting what you subscribed for. I just wanna keep you guys happy, but I'm also trying to keep myself happy and I appreciate every single one of you. I love this platform. It has been life-changing for me, and I don't say that lightly. I have aspired to have 
a successful YouTube channel for, I want to say, nine years. Because it was 2015. It was around 2015 that I started my very first YouTube channel. And nine years later, I can say that I accomplished that, but it was because of the Dollar Tree meals. And I really want to get back into that. That is my roots. That is what I love. And I want to share more of those. But we are going to get back to those. But we're also going to continue with the Cheap Eats Around the World series, the Cooking for Community series, if and when she gets out of the hospital. I am at this point considering opening it up again to see if there is someone else in my area that I can cook for but I'm hesitant to do that and I was hesitant to do that before too because I don't wanna overwhelm myself either. I also love trying recipes from cookbooks, especially the retro ones like the Great Depression and the World War II. So what I ideally need to do is have a rotation of videos that is very consistent, you know, within what I need to do. And so the, the consensus of this video is I am working on consistency, I am working on a schedule, and I am working to make sure that you guys are happy being here and being a subscriber to this channel. And if for any reason you feel like you haven't really seen videos that you are interested in, I apologize. I am absolutely doing my best and I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope this video clarified a couple of things and I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend and a great summer. Summer is almost over, back to school is already here. I'm grateful. I'm grateful to you, I'm grateful to this channel and I just wanna make you guys happy in whatever way that I can possibly do that. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I promise I will see you again soon.